Hey, hey, hey. Okay, after crossing the Buckman Lock, it was a mile long road walk, and then I'd cross a highway. It was all exposed. It's getting warm out there. Just beautiful day. No wind. Couldn't ask for any better. So across that highway, and it uh, turned into a bunch of, I think, old logging roads. And then uh, off the logging road, it turned into this. It's elevated. Um, but really nice in here. Pine and totally buff pine needle trail so kind of totally makes sense now this is a uh, old railway line that's why it's elevated and there's an old train trestle here hopefully it doesn't break because that water down there doesn't look great it is blazed, so it must be okay, but by the size of the trees on the old railway track, it hasn't been a railway in, in a few years. She's good. The timbers are strong. What you find in the middle of the bush? Onward down the old train track. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, I made the SR20 crossing. One of the more difficult ones for sure. Super busy, fast highway. We're entering into the Rice Creek Conservation Area. Oh man, you know how much I like it. Where it's got this jungle feel. See, tropical, palmettos, sable. Just awesome in here. Okay, so we're on this boardwalk. It's crazy. So long. So neat. Boardwalks they got. I saw uh, a number back there. It said 26 on the side. I don't know if we're going up or down, but. There's a lot. I've seen a number of things called black water. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up, but you can sure tell why. Hey, hey, hey. So this is the Rice Creek Hilton. Be calling this uh, my bedroom for the night. Up top, is the loft and below is picnic table screened uh, really nice Ice Creek Hilton pretty cool good morning so I'm not sure I stayed in that shelter and in there I think I get the heebie-jeebies. I'm not sure I'm going to do them anymore. I kind of like my Z-Pax tent. Turn it inside out. Shake everything out of it. Set it up. And I know nothing can get me. Humidity's like 80% here. The wood's kind of rotten. Uh, I don't know if I slept so great. Anyway, 
just me. Anyway, the Hilton aside, this area is awesome. The trail's awesome. The uh, amount of work put into this, fantastic. People I hike with know how I like mushrooms. Check out this formation. Wow. Yeah, one more time and then I'll uh, leave it alone, but just awesome through here. Did not like crossing that Highway 60 much. And uh, I think we have to cross Highway 100 here right away. I can start to hear the vehicles. So I hope that that doesn't mean, I haven't really done my homework, but hope it doesn't mean more road walk. Because I'd like to do some more jungle single track. Like this. Hey, that said bridge one. Bridge one, who knew? Just an unbelievable little jungle walk. This is what I came here for. The last couple days have just been fantastic. Loving it! Hey, hey, hey! Okay, crossed the highway. We're crossing for the last time the creek. So we're out of the Rice Creek conservation area and we got a little road walk uh, before we head into the next section. Hey, hey, hey! I forgot to mention when I said goodbye and crossed Rice Creek back there, turned the odometer over on 500 miles on the Florida Trail. 500 mile, woo! So it says, posted no trespassing, Roberts Hunt Club. And then it says, this is the Florida Trail. It's got a blaze. So I guess we jump the gate. Hope we don't get shot. Time to bust out the orange vest and hopefully I don't see any lead flying. Okay, just did a couple three mile long walk on the Palatka Lake Butler State Trail. It's an old railway bed paved, uh, similar to rails and trails. Uh, but the Florida Trail heads are down this way and then we're gonna go into the Eton area, uh, Etonia River. Uh, get her done! Hey, hey, hey! We are at the Iron Bridge Shelter. Hey, hey, hey! I'm at the Iron Creek Shelter. Uh, looks really good. Very big. Way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what this will show up like. It's dark, but there's a loft up there. Benches, chairs, and a broom. Uh, seems to be well screened. Uh, I said it before, and I'm not going to do it. Just seems a little eek. Uh, and it's not late enough. I could easily get another, oh, five or six miles in. So I'm gonna pass on the Iron Creek shelter, but looks good. Over and out. So the trail's been uh, pretty much following this uh, creek bed. Just kind of see there is actually 
some elevation. I um, think you're going up and down. Kind of different for Florida. Nice clear water in the creek. Beautiful. Hey, hey, hey. At a uh, famous point. A uh, nice bench here. Really nice bend in the creek. Water spotless. Really raw. Nice. The point is uh, named for a person who took on the maintenance of this part of the trail for many years. Nice job, Sema. I don't claim to know much, but I do know what that is. Right on the trail. A little bear scat. And uh, as soon as we drop down off of that bluff from the ravine, saw palmettos, oak, it's just really nice right here. Gorgeous tropical little stroll. Hey, hey. Okay, exiting the Etanaya Creek State Forest. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, arrived at the Tinsley Road trailhead. And unfortunately, we got a little bit of a road walk ahead of us now. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey. So after a lengthy road walk, we're going to enter into Goldhead Branch State Park. Let's get her done. Okay, camp landing is open. Yay! Check out this sand. That camp landing. So deep. Trail left the sand. We're in some uh, nice bush here. Good single track. So we're down at uh, Lake Lowry at Camp Landing. Wow, she's a beauty. Hey, hey, hey! She's taking a break here at uh, another lake. This one's a beauty. On a beauty day. I think it's called Magnolia Lake. Check out these berries on this bush. Florida black bear would love those. Hey, hey, hey. All done in Camp Blanding at the six mile little loop. Uh, nice that the Florida National Guard Military Reserve. So I'm going through this uh, little let's town. Head Florida Trail. And I'm standing on there. the corner. Uh, and I see this nice single track in there, and it makes me Couple wonder. Nice lakes. Is there Over a B style. Street? And another little road walk. Let's get her done. Hey, hey, hey! I'm back on the Palatka to Lake Butler bike trail. After a long time on the road, I'll be on this trail until uh, I get to Lake Butler. And then after Lake Butler, onto the Osceola National Forest. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Hopping on this uh, bike trail to Butler uh, puts me at 550 miles. So my math teacher would agree. 550 miles on an 1100 mile trail puts me at halfway. Hey, hey, hey. I'm in Lake Butler at the Dollar General and for good reason they got the greatest deals malls stocked up on food ready to go to the Osceolo National Forest so I'm going through this little town and I'm standing on the corner waiting to cross the street and I see this 
And it makes me wonder, is there a B street? How about a C street? D E F. Yep. What a great idea. I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's so simple, it's genius. There are numbered streets. 1st Avenue, 2nd Avenue, 3rd Avenue, 58th Avenue. So why not letter streets? Amazing! Up to the bike path through Lake Butler and a little stroll down the highway back on some single track. Ah! Hey, hey, hey! Just went down this uh, grass road for a while and I'm going to head her on down the fence line here. Let's get her done. So we're in the, in the deep bush here. Uh, trail overgrown a little bit. A little bit tough to follow, but we're crossing the Aleste Creek right here. And uh, Heading her to the state park. So come up to a, an old uh, railway trestle here. So the sand road I was walking down must have been an old railway line. And uh, she's flowing pretty good here. Pretty boggy. River running through it. See if I can get by on the trestle. Okay, let's give this uh, trestle a shot. Looks like people go down here. Kind of wonder about the age of the timbers. Okay, looks like I'm pretty much across. No issues. Oh! <laughs> all right, it's all good. She's solid as a rock. She was built well. What's good? We're across. And so this brings us to the Osceolo Camp. Osceola Creek Camp. Nice benches. I do not have to stay here tonight. I'm going to keep on trucking. Trucking along this uh, dirt road. Really nice band of pine trees. Beautiful down here and you can just hear the wind whistling away up top there. Just spectacular oak tree there right beside the Olaste Fire Tower. Wow, that's a lot of stairs. Hey, 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 I stopped here at the Olaste Battlefield Memorial. In 1864, there was a fierce battle in these pine trees during the Civil War. Over 2,500 people lost their lives during this battle. So they have a museum here. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's free and uh, they do a reenactment in February of the battle and it's also a really nice spot for the it starts the Florida Trail because it's the uh, beginning of the Alasti National Forest. So, into the Alasti National Forest we go. Let's get her done. Okay, nice single track through here. Beautiful trail. Um, I said Alasti National Forest. It's actually the Osceola National Forest, so I got it wrong. Anyway, trail 
fantastic in here. Check out these pines, saw palmettos. Great day, no wind, not a cloud in the sky. Trucking on, Osceola National Forest. Hey, hey, hey. So I just rolled through Cobb Camp and uh, they're packed in there pretty good. Uh, everything, motorhomes, campers, uh, trailers, fifth wheels, tents. Uh, it's a free campsite, so it uh, definitely uh, is getting used. It's Osceola area, just great trail. The state parks, the national forests, uh, don't miss those on the Florida Trail. It's beautiful. Hey, hey, hey. So I did take the little side trail down to Ocean Pond. Just taking a little break here. Wow, it's nice here. Beautiful lake. Loving Florida. Hey, hey, hey. This is an overpass over the interstate number 10. One of the busier highways. Trail crosses the highway on the bridge and then hops back into the forest. Okay, here at the uh, Osceola shelter. Uh, looks really nice. It's not covered in or anything. Just a shelter. Great day out today. Don't think there's going to be any rain. Not going to need a shelter. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, we made her to the Turkey Run Trailhead. I don't come up with the names. Turkey Run Kiosk. Uh, in a little bit of state of disrepair, but so coming up on the Deep Creek Trailhead, which will mark the end of the Osceolo National Forest. Really, really nice in here. Uh, trails fantastic. Single track the whole way, can't say enough about it.